Veterans Day a book of courage, sacrifice, and honor. A father and son have made it their mission to ensure that veteran stories won't be forgotten. And as WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, they are using a best-selling book as their guide. Flip through the pages of The Greatest Generation and you'll find unforgettable stories of World War II heroes. But there's one particular copy of this book this that is unlike here. any other. The first signatures were collected in 2001 when I was in Pearl Harbor. Christopher Sanchez, a Gulf War veteran who recently retired from the Massachusetts State Police, has spent the last 20 years traveling to World War II sites and collecting veteran signatures in Tom Brokaw's book. Just having their signature in the book is enough to trigger, hey, I remember that guy, he was a B-17 pilot. I remember that guy, he was standing on the deck of the Arizona when it blew up. Just having that little piece can trigger their stories that we can keep. These stories of heroism, sacrifice, and survival aren't just being preserved in this book. They're also being passed on to Sanchez's son, Christian, who started accompanying his father to local Veterans Day services when he was five. And then, a few years later, he started tagging along on big trips to Pearl Harbor and to Normandy for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. What they did is uh, absolutely amazing. And... Uh, you know, you go up, you shake their hand, you say thank you. During that trip, the father and son also had a chance encounter with Tom Brokaw himself, who was amazed to learn what they were doing with his book. And he wrote, thanks for preserving these memories. So far, they've collected about 100 signatures. This is Lou Conter. Jack Colby, Bud Hampton. This is Babe Heffern. He was one of the veterans that were featured in the HBO miniseries, Band of Brothers. It's amazing, and I think it's very important because one day they'll be gone, and who's going to be left to tell their story, to preserve their legacy? That's why one day Christopher plans to give the book to his son. And I want him to be able to tell his children and grandchildren about the greatest generation. I will probably buy a glass case. I'll take it out only when I need to get signatures and just keep it there. So it'll mean a lot to you? Yes, a lot. But for now, Christopher and Christian plan to keep collecting signatures together for as long as they possibly can. With some of these veterans passed away, you'll never get that again. And just the opportunity to meet them and to talk to them and to hear a little bit about their story and preserve a little piece of them, it's, it's, it's priceless. Anna Myler, WBZ News. Just a wonderful show of respect and a memory that they're going to share. I love this story for a couple of reasons. Number yep. one, that they're preserving these yep. stories. But number two, a father and son spending all this quality time together and, um, and learning a lot as they go. Right. And Christian really appreciating what his dad yeah. did too in the service. Great story. So we thank him.